Mrs. Jefferson? How are you? Oh, hi. oh how are you? Oh, Alex, you're thank shaking. You thank you for oh, coming. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Oh, that's all right. Oh, and your day off. Oh, especially. come on. Are you it kidding me? Really... Where is it? Out back? It's in the trap. In the where? It's in the trap. Okay. All right. That's okay. Thank you for coming on your day off. I got a little friend. <sighs> Is it ugly? Oh, is it ugly? They're all beautiful to me. Ugh. Kept us up all night long with its ruckus, didn't it, Mrs. Butterworth? But are worthless when it comes to catching critters. At 5.06 a.m., I heard that trap snap shut, and I called you ASAP. You're on my speed dial. I know I am. I hope you rot in hell, you filthy vermin. OK, I'm going to set it loose in the park, OK? Yeah, set it loose in the park. Break his neck first. Alex? Alex? Yeah? I am, I'm just, I'm so embarrassed. The darn government was late with my social security check again. So, I brought you this. Oh. A little sugar. That is so <laughs> sweet of you. Thank you. And, oh. and it's full of maraschino cherries, and I, I left off the stems this time. Oh, well, mm -hmm. you know, you can never count on the government for anything, but you can always count on me, my favorite <laughs> client. You are such a nice guy. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> How come a nice guy like you is still single? I don't know. I ask myself that same question every day. I guess I just haven't met the right girl yet. When you do, <laughs> she is going to be exhausted. <laughs> oh, that was awkward. Oh, OK. Um, Bye, Mrs. J. I'll see Alex, you. Alex. Yeah? You have a spider on your arm. What? Oh, spider. that's a tattoo. No, 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 no. A spider is on your arm. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's a brown recluse. This one is highly poisonous, as long as you don't provoke it. So we just have to stay calm, OK? Let me help you. Remain calm, OK? No, no, no. Stay calm means I don't need your help. OK, let me help you. No, don't help me. You just stay calm. No, Mrs. J, no. Was that a dead body? Let's not focus on that, Mr. Mathis? Was that one of your patients, Nurse Lisa? I mean, I, I don't care. I, I'm not saying that you were responsible for that, but being your next patient, I was just a little concerned. <clears throat> 
You know, I would imagine if I looked up the word uh, nurse in, let's say, Nurse Journal or Nurse Illustrated or whatever it is, that I would probably see a picture of you. I mean, you are like the perfect nurse. <laughs> are you done? Okay. Okay. So it says here you have a small puncture wound on your upper arm. Correct. Can you remove your shirt, please? Sure. It might be a bullet wound, though, actually, because I'm dodging bullets all day long in what I do. And what is it that you do? Um, well, I actually, ow, ow, I, uh, actually, I shouldn't tell you. It's top secret. Ow. I'd say you're a comedian, but the shirt gives you away. So do your work boots. Well, Mr. Mathis, it looks like one of your bugs bit you from the swelling. I'd say a spider. You know what? You'd be right. It was a brown recluse. All right. Let's just do one tenth cc of dexamethasone or cortisone, whatever you want. It's not my first barbecue. OK. Um, let me check that with the doctor. I'll be giving you these shots myself, and you'll be out fighting bugs again in no time. Uh, nurse, Lisa, <clears throat> let's, let's say for a second that this is lethal. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I've only got one meal left. What do you say? You, me, breakfast? Huh? No. No. Early for this crap and need some help from the captain. for gauze? Seriously, I hope they accept fruitcake as payment, because I don't know what I'm going to do. OK, uh, everybody calm down. It's just fire alarm. Walk out, please. Slowly. Let's go, fire. Don't worry. Don't be scared. It's OK. Don't run. Slowly, slowly. Without señora. OK, it's fine, folks. It's fine. Everything's fine. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Uh, this is a false alarm. It is a false one, folks. There's no fire in the building. So if we could all just remain calm, that would be great. Jose, I need you to turn the damn thing okay, off. You got it, buddy. Thank you. Don't worry, you okay? Look, you know what? Be okay. I can help him out if you want. You want me to help? No, we're okay. We're you fine. You sure? Yeah, we got it. Excuse me, director? Yes. Carl has something very crazy to say. There's something in the morgue. It climbed right out of a body bag, and it bit me. I swear to Christ. Like the, like the living dead, Carl? Jose, please. Sorry, I like those movies. Carl, what the hell are you talking about? Did you pull the fire alarm again? Hell yes. Did you hear what I said? There's some sort of animal down there. OK, but Carl, you work at a hospital. If something bites you, there's doctors and nurses everywhere. There's no reason for you to pull a fire alarm and alert the entire building. But it bit me, boss. It bit me. Maybe somebody brought in a dog. It's not a dog. Listen, I know how this sounds, but you should have seen it. It's got these long black legs like a spider, but it's much too big to be a spider. We got to call somebody. Look, if it was bigger than a spider, it wasn't a spider. I'm sure. Spider. A black cat, maybe. Call, call somebody. Call somebody. Been a, was it a monkey? Why would it be a monkey? I don't know. Could have been a spider. a spider. Carl, right? OK, listen. 
it may in fact have been a giant tarantula. I've seen tarantulas as big as a foot across. Who's this guy? He happens to be an exterminator. Spiders happen to be my specialty. I know what spiders are thinking. I get into a spider's head. I think like a spider, I move like a spider, all eight legs. I become a spider to catch a spider. Okay, all right, do you wanna go down with Carl and maybe take care of this thing? I'd really appreciate it. As you can see, I've got my hands full here. Right now, yeah. I'd really appreciate it. I would love to do that for you, Carl. We could do that. Sure. I, I, I love to work pro bono. Okay, no that's problem great. At I appreciate all. that. No problem. I just have a, a quick thing to discuss. See this? <clears throat> this is my, uh, my bill for the hospital. I haven't settled this yet. So I'll take care of this for you if you take care of this for me. Sort of quid pro quo pro bono. Sounds fair to me, boss. Thank you, Jose. Yes, fine. That's, that's great. Consider your visit on the house. Thank you. Great. Okay, Carl, will you take this gentleman downstairs and let's get rid of this bug, okay? Okay, boss. I don't feel so good. Let me see the bite. Okay, I'm gonna get you to the ER. It's gonna be an insurance nightmare. Oof. Jose, yeah. will you please take our bug-killing friend to the morgue? Oh, sure. Anything he needs, just take care of it, okay? You got it, boss. Gracias. I'm gonna have to, uh, grab a couple things from my, from my truck. Okay. Uh, you're not a real police officer, are you? Security guard. Okay. All right, my truck's out back. Okay. Oh, have me. Uh, whoa, gun. whoa, 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 whoa! Put it away. I will. I have handcuffs too. Good. Okay. That's some maze. Sure. So you get in the mind of the spider, really? I do. That's crazy. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little nuts. <laughs> Sir, we have a location. ETA, five minutes. It's over here. Uh-oh, the lights don't work so good. It's cold in here. Most spiders don't like it cold. They like it uh, warm, dark and warm. Well, that's good. Hey, uh, Jorge. Huh? You get my flashlight, it's on the side of my bag. Sure. But it's Jose, okay? Okay. Oh, my God. What? Oh, God. What? This is so gross. Oh, yeah? What? Look at this. No, you uh, describe it. I'm not gonna look. Oh, uh... What? The spider must have... Oh, he must have got inside this guy's body and dug his way out through his lungs or his <gasps> stomach or something. Oh, my God. Oh, poor guy. How big did Carl say this thing was? What did he say exactly? Exactly? Yeah. Let me see. He said, oh, he beat me, boss. He beat me. And then Lisa said it was a doggy. He said, no. And then I said, maybe it was a black cat. He said, no. And then I said, maybe it's a monkey. He said, no. He said it was like a spider, but bigger than a spider. Maybe it was a spider monkey. A spider monkey? A spider monkey. I don't understand it. Oh, what is all this? We already called. It was a false alarm. No. It wasn't. Is that like a raid? Raid? No. Raid is for housewives. This is a very potent brew. My own concoction of sticky acid, a few drops on a termite hive, and it's history. And it's eco-friendly. Oh, that's nice. OK. If you were a spider, where would you be? I thought it was, you know, a spider that you were scared too. Shut up. Where's this vent go to? Um, uh, 
through the building, uh, from the roof all the way down to the basement machine room. The machine room? Yeah. Where it's warm. Ah. OK. Jose, get up there. I'm not going to get up there. Come on, man. You're a little guy. Get in the vent. I'm not going in there. I'm kidding. Get my bag for us. <laughs> it's not funny, man. But listen, are you really going to go after it? Yeah, that's what I do. This is how I roll, man. There is no bug that can outdo the axe. And besides, the bug that we're dealing with mm -hmm. is a big bug. Ah. In my line of work, it's the little bugs you got to be scared of. Oh, the little one? Yeah. Oh, I hate little bugs, you know? I hate uh, gnats, uh, mosquitoes, cucarachas, of yeah. course. So I don't even like ladybugs. You know, everybody likes ladybugs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hate them. Uh, roly polies, too. I can't stand them. Cheegers. Cheegers are, like, really bad because they get under the skin. OK. Sorry. The one we're looking for has a mean bite. You got a lot of elderly, sick people, kids. Let's do this for the kids. Let's do it for the kids. All right. I'll be on channel two. I'm going to need you to talk me through the entire event, OK? All the way through the building. Got to make sure this thing doesn't double back and come back through this way. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have the sticky ass in legs. Yeah, but you got the gun, you got the handcuffs, the mace. Trust me, this thing is more scared of you than you are of it. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, sir, there are no cell phones in the hospital. There's a sign right there that... Set up a perimeter around the hospital. Lieutenant, lock it down. Uh, that is a negative, my friend. Repeat, not happening. We have patients... Your hospital is now under my command. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Gordon Harris, director of the hospital. Uh, who are you? I am Major Braxton C. Tanner, Special Forces, United States Army. We have reason to suspect you've inadvertently received a very dangerous contagion. There's a body that was mistakenly sent here to this hospital. We'd like to see that body. A contagion? No. Where's the morgue? Breaker, breaker, this is the X calling uh, El Dorado. Come in, Jose. Uh, hi, yes, I'm here. Uh, El Dorado, did you say? Yeah, El Dorado. I'm coming up to a junction, east and west. Uh, which way to the basement? What's a junction? Uh, it, it's, uh, it, it's like when two roads are, you know, come together in a T, and you don't. Do I go left or right to get to the basement? Go left. Left? Hello? Don't yell at me. Go left. Left, right? Yes, go left. Izquierda. Am I scared of what? Go left. OK, I'm going left. <laughs> oh, 
Jose, I'm not alone in here, buddy. So this is where the body would have come in. Our morgue attendant, Carl's fallen ill, so... You know. Fallen ill? It is here. Move to full lockup, people. All units gear up. So you're saying that the military can just come in and shut a hospital down? That's not legal. You can't do that. The hell I can't. You are under military jurisdiction on a matter of national security. Your full cooperation and discretion would be very much appreciated. Do we have an understanding? Yep. Good. Excuse me, Director Harris? Uh, not can now, Can we talk Lisa. for a second? Not now. Something's happened. It's one of the patients. And? Well, he is... Dead? Let's take a look. Okay, I'm on to you, buddy. It's already hunting. Granted, the patient's immobility indicates an advantageous access. Like a buzzard selecting wounded prey, it will get the hang of the kill quickly. How long has it been? Blood coagulation fresh. 10, maybe 12 minutes. It is close. How big do you think it is now, doctor? It has quadrupled in size. In 24 hours? It will continue to grow exponentially. Four hours from now. It will quadruple again. <laughs> Where are you, friend? Where are you, buddy? 
Come on, buddy. The ex has a treat for you. I got a, a treat for you. U.S. to Mexico, U.S. to Mexico. Jose, it's Alex. Copy that. I think I found our uh, spider. He got the... I'm down to the basement, buddy. Down to the basement. Such a, such a little guy, are you? All right, I got something for you. I got something for you. Nice and shiny. You're gonna like this. Ready? It's my quarter. Give me back my quarter. Oh, no, you're not. Uh, not this time! Are you gonna run from me? Is that the only one? The only one? Spider? Uh, yeah, I hope so. Visual Moron. contact. Target is now in the sewer system. Prepare to move out. Moron? I'm bringing an eyewitness in for questioning. Okay, I had this thing bagged until you started shooting at me. No. Shooting at me. Oh, okay. You've got no idea what you're dealing with. Ah, uh, excuse me. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm a professional. Oh, I see, I see. Of course you are. And hey, nice uniform. Thank you very much. Now move out. That was sarcastic. Move out. Are you feeling something? Cause... Head out. Arachnid? I don't know what that is. Did you say Iraq? Arachnid. 
I like your pipe. Major, here he is, a local exterminator, um, Alex. Alex uh, Mathis, actually. It's a pest eradication specialist. Uh, all kinds of pests, rodents, reptiles. All I want from you, Mr. Mathis, is details. Tell me what you saw down there. Hey, there he is. Hey, how you doing? In concise sentences, please. OK. Uh, can I sit down? In one hell of a morning, Yeah, we? we're going to sit down, OK? You want details? This thing's huge. This is the biggest spider that I've ever seen, maybe the biggest spider on record. And from the look of the bite that it gave that mortician, I'd say this thing is highly poisonous, aggressive, fast, smart. It's strong, really strong. It moved that sewer grate out of the way. That's got to be, what, uh, 25 pounds? This is a big-ass spider. Exhaust skeleton's hardened, then. It's already entered stage two. All right, Major, we've got to get it before it hits stage three and increases in size. It increases in size? What are you talking about? What does that mean? Who are you guys? Why are you hunting a spider? We appreciate your time, Mr. Mathis. Lieutenant, we escort these two gentlemen off. No, 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 no. Don't brush me off. Hey, hey, it's not gonna stay in the service tunnel very long. You know that, right? It's, it's gonna look for a place that's warm and dry, not cold and wet, and it's gonna wanna hunt. You're way out of your league, son. All right. This is worst. Well, I've had worse job interviews. I think your boss really likes me. I thought it went well. He doesn't like games. He doesn't like games? Mm -mm. Then what's with the secrecy? Just tell us what's going on. Look, we made a mistake, and now we're taking care of it, and that's all you no, need no, to no, know. No, 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 no. What does that mean, we made a mistake? Like, we made this mistake? I've got to get back, so why don't you two take off before Braxton has you arrested? Wow. Uh, Lieutenant? Yes? Just in case the uh, military, or you, uh, should need any assistance at all, <laughs> this is my card. Mr. Alex, Alex Mathis. Mathis. On Twitter, <laughs> it's a badass bug killer. If you think of anything else important, you can give me a call. Oh, see, look at that. That wasn't so difficult, was it? I will definitely be giving you a call. Right. I appreciate it. And uh, right. I can friend you. All right. Don't let this get out. And uh, try to stay out of trouble. Hmm. Wow. Mm, what a nice lady. I think she likes you. I can't believe I let this one get away. She's right there. No, 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 no. What's that? The spider? Oh, yeah. Hey, but where are you going? What do you mean, where am I going? This is it, buddy. What? The end of our adventure. It's been fun. Hey, you cannot give up now, Alex. You heard her. She's got the army working with her. What are we supposed to do? But isn't this like the biggest spider ever? Yes, this is without question the biggest spider on record. Yes, so it'd be good business, right? For you to catch it or kill it. Yes, if. I could catch it or kill it, which I can. OK, but it could make you famous, right? Yes, this would get a lot of press. What are you getting at? Look, you could be super exterminator. <laughs> and Jose. And my boss told me to help you, so I'm going to help you. And you know like how? Like Robin helps a bad man. Like Tonto helps the Lone Ranger. Like Cato helps the Green Hornet. Yes. Like Sancho Panza helps Don Quixote. Yes. Like John Oates helps Daryl Hall, baby. Yes, we are going to do this. We are going to show her that spiders don't fly. Yes. And spiders don't swim. Yes. Some do, but that's not the point. You and I are going to find this spider before they do. Come on. Let's do it. We can. <laughs> A five-mile radius should be enough. Let's get some eyes out there. Any sign? Containment is our priority right now. <laughs> we have to neutralize the target before somebody out there sees it. The mere sight of this thing will cause mass panic. Sir, we have a problem. Kirik Dodd, who shot the amateur video, claims it was footage of a giant spider measuring over six feet in length. We now go live to the scene of this strange sighting. I saw a big ass spider. Big ass. Uh, big I, ass I, I came spider. around the corner. First thing I had to do was get my phone out. Ain't nobody gonna believe this. I seen a spider was coming at me, man. It had multiple, had like what? Eight, six legs? Yeah, about no. that. It had multiple legs, yo. It had multiple eyes. It was multicultural. Man, that fool's gonna crack! If I see the spider again, I'm gonna whoop his ass. You better hide your kids, you better hide your wife, because it's a big, it's bigger than a spider. It's a mega spider on the loose. Find that building and the connecting surface tunnel. Yes. It is moving into stage three. Thank you, Doctor. 
Carly. I'm on it. We're gonna need a miracle. I like that song, Alex. I like that music too, my friend, but we gotta focus. You're right, focus. Okay, so what is the biggest spider ever? Biggest spider ever has to be the Goliath bird eater. Yeah, unbelievable. This thing's got a six inch abdomen, uh, three inch fangs, 13 Ooh. inches across. But I gotta tell you, what we're following now, yeah. this thing, what I saw, yes. much bigger. Oh, come on. I'm not kidding. 13 and a half inches? Much bigger. 14 inches. 14 and a half inches. Much bigger. 15 inches. I'll meet you on the other 15 side. And a half. 16 inches? 20 inches. 20 inches? What I saw was 20 inches long and black. <laughs> Sounds funny. Sir, there's a phone call for you. This is Major Tanner. Yeah, it's Officer Edwards with the LAPD. There's something down here you're probably going to want to see. What is your location? So, what is this thing? It's probably some crossbreed of spider. I don't know. It's just a gigantic black widow. OK, so where would a black widow go? Well, black widows are night feeders. So it's going to be looking for easy access outside the sewer tunnels, some food supply, not a lot of traffic, calm area, possibly. Un rio. What? Un rio, the river. Yes, yes, the LA River. OK, let's go. Let's go. There's something. Oh, sweet mother of God. It built this under one hour. Looks like it housed maybe 20 or 30 people here at night. Do you see any survivors? No. No one left. Except for maybe some leftovers. A little more to the right, please. It has molted. Center, Center Command, this is Major Tanner. We are at stage three. I repeat, we are at stage three. This town has no idea what's coming. Ah, it looks like they beat us to the punch. Yeah, but do you think they killed it? I don't know, I'm about to find out. Hello? Hey, it's, uh, it's Alex. I was just wondering, um, so you got your spider, huh? What? Where are you? Where are we? We, we are, uh, we're right across, across the river from you and your soldiers. Hey! Listen, we just missed it. Anything else? Anything else? Um, Ask her out, man. What? Ask her out, Alex. No. Don't be scared. I'm not scared. Listen, no offense, but I don't uh, have time yeah, for this, all right? Goodbye, Alex. Maybe. What? Hello? What happened? Um, spider's still on the loose. Oh, it is? Yes. OK, so where do you think it will go from here? Well, it's going to be looking for food and fast. But you said it hunts at night. Yeah, but something this size is going gonna, is gonna to hunt when it's hungry, and there's nothing around it, industrial space. It could hide in the hills. Yes, it can, yes it's going to be looking for higher ground. Very good guess, Senor Watson. But it's going to need tree cover. You know, my cousin had a quinceanera at Elysium Park. It's Sunday, there's lots of people there cooking out. That's where I would be with my family hey, by the day. Hey, you know what? 
Elysian Park. Let's try Elysian Park. Are you serious? I just heard Elysian Park, Alex. Vamanos! has a lock on our target, sir. Good God. Location? Elysian Park. Get units there now. Oh, stop sign, Alex! No, there's no slowing down. Oh, we gotta get to the park. Stop sign. We have got to get to the park and evacuate these people. <laughs> oh, boy. Alex, I told you to drive slow. Uh, I'll do the talking, okay? Yeah, I hope so. You're the white guy. Listen, I'm a professional driver. I'm gonna need you to step no, back. No, 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 but there's something huge in the park. And I'm just saying, Alex, we have an to amazing. Okay? Just listen to Excuse it. me, sir. Oh, I need you to step back inside the car. Oh, okay. Put your hands okay. on the dashboard. Good luck, Alex. Back inside you the car. You don't have to do yes, that. Sir. I understand what What's this is. What's going all on about. at the park today? You got a picnic? <laughs> all right, maybe I should just uh, donate to the officers' fund, huh? Is that right? Huh? Is that what it's gonna take? Is that is that is what that this it? is right That's here? That's exactly what that is. The donation to the officers. Yes, sir. Can I go now? This is a twelve twelve dollar donation. Seriously, yeah. man? This is all I got. Twelve dollars, sir. I'd like for you to turn around. Turn around. Put your, turn around. Put Come your on. hands I'm on a the car, please. Yeah. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of people in the park. Their lives depend on us getting there. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. All units. All units, please report to Elysian Park. Yeah. There's a disturbance okay. in progress. Okay. Uh -huh. Elysian, Elysian Park. Oh, look at that. Okay, go, go. Don't, don't be waving me off. You better get out of here. I ain't put, this works. This works. Can I have my bribe back?
you okay? No. Are you okay? No. You're not okay? No, I'm not okay. Okay. Who in the hell is that idiot? It's Alex Mathis. The exterminator? Yes, sir. He's gonna get himself killed. What? I didn't. Hey, listen, enough of this. Your spangle is just pressuring me, all right? You can't go. Hello, Western Exterminator. We care. Alex, this is Lieutenant Brandt. Hey, Carly, how are you? We're uh, we're on to your spot. We're in Elysian Park. Huh? Listen, we're here, Alex. Get clear. We're gonna handle this. Uh, no, no, we're gonna take care of the spider, and then I am gonna take you out to dinner. What? Alex, I'm not joking. You're heading right into a crossfire. I'm sorry, we're heading into a what? A crossfire. A crossfire? What's a... A crossfire? What's a... Ah! Right on my command! Ah! Open fire! Are you insane? What were you thinking? Hey, did you miss me? You could have been killed. Well, we just thought we'd bring the spider to you. I don't have time to deal with this clown. Get him out of my sight. Uh, yes, sir. You're welcome. Keep him out of our way. Lieutenant, regroup the men and form a perimeter. Yes. I want to kill that bastard while it's still in the woods. Yes, Major. We'll get some more men up here. Hey, I lost my truck. Yeah, I lost my glasses. You will need more firepower. There's enough explosive in here to take out a tank. Thank you. I lost my truck. You're worried about your glasses? I'm... Yeah, you're right. Hey, Carly. What about me? What about you? Uh, well, should I come with you? Jose and I could be our own unit. Yeah, I shot at a whole bus. All right, listen, guys, seriously, I really appreciate everything you've done, but we've got it from here, OK? Wait, Carly. You guys, listen, you guys did a great job. Thank you. Carly, you need my help. Alex, what I've got to do now is move out. You and your men are about to walk into a death trap. The wooded area is her terrain. This is home turf advantage for her. They don't call her one of the greatest predators on Earth for nothing. Trust me, Carly, you need my help. Alex, this is my job. How come women never listen to me? What? Stay sharp, boys. Now, if you come across a hide or lair, your first priority is to drop the thermite pack and fall back immediately. All detonation will be signaled from here.
Bowsman. Where's Bowsman? We lost all of Alpha Company. Juan's camera's down too, sir. Target acquired. Target acquired. Engage. <laughs> Sir, we lost Private Parker. Send teams Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, now. Oh, damn. <sighs> Guys, I'm stuck. Yeah, well, I'm stuck in this stuff, too. It's right on Charlie One. We need immediate backup now. Lieutenant Brandt. Yes, sir. If it gets in your vicinity and you have a chance to end this, are you prepared to do so? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. It's filled with explosives. That'll blow that thing a mile high. That's not good. If you blow that thing a mile high, you're gonna blow us a mile high. I'm sorry, Alex. What? Are you kidding me? The girl of my dreams had a big spider wanna kill me on my day off? This is great. Please don't do it! Sorry, Alex. What do you mean, sorry, Alex? What's the plan, guys? We gotta rescue her. You're kidding, Alex. Kidding? No, I'm not kidding. She's as good as dead. Let's move on. No! What, what are we all? We're just numbers to you guys? Is that it? Hey, Braxton, come on. What is this? It's just collateral damage? Lieutenant Brad and I went through hell and back together. So don't tell me about losing a friend. She was a good soldier. And her death will not be in vain. No, we're running out of time. It's still out there. And about to run amok into stage five. St okay. What's, what's stage five? Doc, what happens in stage five? Come on. This is not the first time you guys have dealt with this. What did you make that is running around killing people? We didn't make anything. At least not intentionally. This arachnid is an aberration from several unusual technologies. Come on, in layman's terms, what are we dealing with? Alien biology, not terrestrial. So you're saying the spider's an alien? Yeah. Come not on, exactly, man. but 
Yes, DNA crossbreeding from microbial fossil found in Martian soil. So you made a spider duel with an alien. That's messed up. No, no, no. That's messed up, guys. This is your people, at least. No, no, no. We did not crossbreed two species. We isolated separate genes, one of which, in particular, produces a superior growth hormone. Its promise is infinite. Giant tomatoes to feed the whole world and such. Tomatoes is the first word I understood, you know? But something went wrong. No kidding. Uh, I got a question for you. Yes? So why do we got the giant spider? I didn't get it. You get it? I don't get it. What's with the spider, Doc? We don't get it. You get it, Brexton? It was an accident. One of the fruit plants that were brought in as a test subject had a spider's nest hidden inside. The arachnid biology was immediately responsive to the growth hormone. Major and I monitored four stages of growth. Letting it proceed to stage five was deemed unacceptable. What happens in stage five? What happens in stage five? Reproduction. Oh, of course. Reproduction. <laughs> I should have guessed that. Yeah. Yes, of course, reproduction. I, it had to be reproduction, right? Because this fairy tale's got uh, spiders from Mars, right? It's a nice little uh, bedtime story yeah, you're telling yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. You got spiders humping each other. <laughs> yeah, Alex, sorry. even with our high tech equipment, you managed to find it the same time we did. Yes, I did. Oh, well, wait, we did, okay? Right. Carry on. You seem to understand its nature. Yes, I do. So what's your best guess? No, so now you want our help, huh? School them, Alex. All right. My professional opinion is that without question, she's going to lay her eggs as far away from a populated area as she can get. Humans, she doesn't trust. She never has. So you're not going to find her anywhere near a populated area. Well, like under a bridge or a warehouse or something? No, no, even more isolated. Far sir, away, sir, far away. Sir, I think you need to see this. We have a live feed of News Copter 8 that has spotted the creature headed toward Little Tokyo. We advise you that if you are in that area to evacuate immediately. Or she might go downtown. Oh, look, look, it's right there. Found her. It's big. <laughs> All right, Senator, this is Tanner. Request status on Operation Groundswell. Call in an airstrike, Major. Wait, airstrike? What airstrike? Contingency. You can't just drop a bomb here. Oh, that's not good. No, you can't, you can't bomb downtown LA. We're running a little low on options, so I'm calling in a targeted airstrike. You're risking the lives of thousands of people. <sighs> Saving millions. Wait, wait a minute, there's got to be a better way. Enough of this. Remove this Western Terminator. Well, what? Yeah, I'd like to see you try it, creepy yeah. guy. Oh, okay. Okay, we're leaving. Got it. Sir, we have a lock on the building. Zooming in. Is that Lieutenant Brandt? I need a minute. Copy that. I hope you 
You have insurance. No, the company has insurance. Oh, yes. Well, don't worry about it. Alex! Wait! It's Carly. She's still alive. Don't mess with me. That spider, she laid her eggs on top of the Epic Bank building. There are a lot of people trapped up there. Carly's one of them. OK, so what do we do? Well, you have about 24 minutes before the jets arrive there. And what happens before then is up to you. I'll drive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir. OK, so what's the plan, Alex? The plan, stop the spider, save the city, kiss the girl. Oh, good. Any idea how to do that? No. That's what I thought. Our guns are doing nothing against this thing. Disengage, disengage. Pull back, but maintain visual contact. See, it's a perfect target up there. If we can take it out on the rooftops, it'll keep civilian casualties to a minimum. As long as we take out that building before the eggs hatch. Mexican Robin. How are we gonna kill this big spider? I'm trying to figure that one out. I mean, we can't shoot it. Why? Why? Because it's huge. The exoskeleton alone is stronger than anything we've got to penetrate it. And it's resistant to flames. It's resistant to any kind of heat. We have not even created a fire suit strong enough to... Fire? Hey, how about fuego? No, no, I just said it's resistant to fire. Yes, but the web catches on fire, so can we use that? Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. That's it. Jose! What? If we can ignite the spinneret, we can blow it up from the inside out. Really? Yes! So what's a spinneret? Spinnerets. Spinnerets. Spin. 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 Er. Er. Ets. Ets. Spinnerets. Where's the spinnerets? In its ass. So we have to shoot the spider in the butt. In the butt. How are That's we going right. to do that? Uh, how are we going to do that? <laughs> With this? Oh, oh baby! <laughs> Wiki! Where's the airstrike? ETA, two minutes. Have them circle once more. You are insane, Braxton. You can't risk these eggs hatching. Take down that building now! I'm done with you scientists. You started this thing, and you let us finish it. Remove this man. Escort him out of my command center now. I will see now. you in hell, Braxton. Get me Alex on the phone. Western, we live to kill. Alex, you have 10 minutes to get to the 60th floor. After that, I have no choice. We can't risk any of those eggs hatching. 10 minutes is all we're gonna need.
Carly, I gotta save those people. I'm coming with you. No, we may not get out of there in time. Then we better get moving. Let's do it, Alex. Five minutes away. Target acquired. Target acquired. ETA, three minutes. God help us all. I mean, seriously, two saves in one day. Target, engage target. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's not celebrate just yet. covers the cost of a new truck. Yes, he is. The Major wants to talk to you. Major? Hope I'm not in trouble. I hope not either. Yeah, Major? I gotta hand it to you, kid. You knocked it out of the park. Thank you for saving Carly. Well, thank you very much, sir. I told you I'm a professional. That you are, son. That you are. 
Yeah, well, anytime you have any trouble, you know who to call. Except it's not gonna be cheap. I got a partner now. <laughs> and, uh, there's a little business about my, uh, my truck. I made some modifications to it. Alex? And I'm not sure that, uh, the insurance at the company's gonna cover that. Alex? Major, I'm gonna have to call you back. Alex, can we get out of here? I'm sorry, Jose. I live to kill. Okay. I got your back, babe. Hey, Jose. What? You remember that conversation we had in the in the truck? Which one? The one about the spinneret. We're gonna shoot it in the butt. Find me that bazooka! You got it, Alex! I'm a pro. I'm a pro. Oh, look at you. You're gross. Oh. You got web all over you. You're one to talk. <laughs> well, it looks like we're stuck together for a while. Is that a problem? No, I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> well, what should you do with the rest of your day off? I can think of a few things. Come on, you guys. Come on, guys, get a room, okay? Alex, I'm afraid we have a little problem. What's the biggest cockroach you ever saw? La cucaracha, la cucaracha, ya no puede caminar porque no tiene, porque le falta una pata para andar. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, ya no puede caminar porque no tiene, porque le falta. Dicen que la cucaracha es un animal pequeño y cuando entra en una casa se tiene que quedar dueño. Cuando uno quiere a una y esta una no lo quiere, Lo mismo que es un calvo, en la calle encuentra un peine. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, ya no puede caminar, porque no tiene, porque le falta una pata para andar.
Clara Y si no se hubiera muerto Todavía se llamara Cuando Rita se bañaba En el río San Fernando Le picó la cucaracha Pero ella siguió nadando La cucaracha I'm falling But I'm not scared Yeah me in the end I'm calling out your name cause you're the only one that can save the day 